So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at importing a design here into the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and setting it up for cutting. Now, usually what I do is I'll just drag and drop a file from my desktop right here into Silhouette Studio. So we'll go ahead and do that. We do have to hover over Silhouette Studio for a moment and wait till our file actually appears. And depending on the size of the file, that may take a bit to do. Now, this is one of our older files, but we'll go ahead and zoom out here. So you can see there's three pieces. There's one where it's totally complete, and then we have the template already color separated for you. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's right-click on the file and choose Ungroup. So we'll choose Ungroup option. Now, many times in our files, we'll have to choose Ungroup a, a, a number of times. And what we're actually looking for is when we're ungrouping, once we've ungrouped enough, we're looking for this right here. So we ungroup, ungroup, and see how you have all the individual, right? That's what we're looking for. Now, I do want to point out a couple of things with this particular design that I think is important. So let's go ahead and zoom in tight here and take a look at something. Because there is an important part that we should make a note of. If we select one of these circles, Notice the size of the circle. It says it's 3.4 millimeters. Now, if we look at this circle, notice what it says. It's 2.6 millimeters. You say, well, why is that significant? Well, let me explain why this is significant. Part of the reason that we set these files up the way we set them up is because, technically speaking, all of these redstones are SS6 stones and all of the crystal stones are SS10 stones. So theoretically speaking, you could quite easily, in fact, you could create this as one template instead of two. And so what you would do is brush in all of your SS10 stones first, followed by all of your SS6 stones, and lift all your stones off as one transfer. That's really the smart way to create this design. So uh, that's the way I would recommend doing it because this design is set up in such a way where you could go ahead and just make one template for two different stone sizes, quite simply. Now, if you've never done that procedure before, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but if you figure out what you're doing and take your time to do it, this is a much more improved way because obviously you're using half of your template material and when you actually go to make the transfer, it's just easier getting everything lined up if we're doing everything in one template. So with that said, let's go ahead and delete the bottom two pieces. Again, we set these files up to give you kind of an either or situation, but let's go ahead and delete the bottom two. Now for the top one, what we have to do, you can see the box for this is a little bit too wide to fit on the mat and this whole design even if the box was right up tight is really too wide to fit our 12 inch mat so what we'll do is we'll switch over to our 12 by 24 inch mat and we'll set our width here to be 608 same as our mat and then we can go ahead and take this and bring it right on in and we can go ahead and cut this now so we could set this up on our mat wherever we want to cut and we could go ahead and cut this template so if I want to cut this template I'm just going to select it then I'm going to come over here to my cut window and I'm going to choose this option which is cut not cut edge but cut and you can see all of the individual circles are all the way around there now I'm going to set that back to no cut and we're going to do something different here where we're going to select the design, we're going to group it. Because this is a question I get quite a bit. If we set this back to cut, you still can see all of the individual lines, right? Because we're choosing that cut edge option, or we're choosing the cut option and not the cut edge option. But even with the cut edge option, you can see all of our circles are still going to cut, okay? So we just want to kind of point that out. Now if I ungroup this, so we'll go back to all individual pieces, and then I right click and choose the Make Compound Path option, 
you can see here if I set this back to no cut and then I go back to cut edge you can see we still get all of our cutting and even when I choose this option this cut option you can still see we have all of those circles cutting so this is the look that we want to make sure we have and if you don't have that sometimes just ungrouping sometimes just right clicking and releasing the compound path these are all things that we can do to set this up so let's go back let's get out of cut window here now if I go back in here and group this together go back to the cut window and choose cut you can see all of our circles are cut and if I cut edge you can see all of our circles are still cut so that's we just want to make sure this is what you see when you go get ready to cut and you'll have the results that you're looking to have so that is how to set up the file if you need to know how to set up a file here in so inside silhouette studio for cutting